welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to achieve my flawless body curls. So today we're working on an 18 inch six by six closure wig, a customized from my collection. The wig is totally uncustomized and it's a full completed wig. This is three bundles of 18 inches with a 14 inch six by six closure. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. And all that I did so far, I only bleached the knots and I'm gonna go ahead and pluck the hairline so we can get into the video on how I achieve my fullest body curve. So stay tuned. So this is my first time actually wearing a six by six closure and I'm super hyped to try this because the space on this closure is like so big. So we're gonna have a lot of space to work with and I'm totally excited to see how this turned out. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just customizing my hairline. This is a six by six closure. So we have to make that six by six closure give frontal vibes, period. <laughs> So I apologize, my hand was kind of blocking the camera on this part of the video, but I'm going to try to explain it to the best of my ability. So you want to part the hair in sections. You don't want to go straight across. You want kind of want to part in diagonals and just use like chunks. I like to go in with my flat iron and just press out the roots and it gives it a more clean finish. Like you want to press the roots to make the roots straight. That's also how it's easier for you to get nice soft curls. You then wanna use your curling iron and go in an upward position when you're curling on the right side. And then you want to pin with a duck clip. Yeah, you wanna use a duck clip. Um, I'm gonna explain more better on my left side, but on the right side, you wanna make sure you curl in an upward position position make sure the curling iron is in an upward position and then you pin so i kind of this is the side the right side i just show you how it's supposed to look but i'm going to explain more detailed on the left side so let's really get into this video now so this is you want to like just comb out the hair make sure everything is smooth no tangles none of that and then, like I said, you want to go in in the back and just section the hair off. You want to go more in a diagonal and part. On the left side, on the left side, you want to use your curling iron in a more downward position. You want to put your curling iron going down. So I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> The curling iron has to go in a downward position and you just want to wrap the hair around the curling iron, making sure the heat is passing through the curling iron. Make sure the curling iron is pointing down. And the curling iron I'm using is the Baby List. I believe it's a one and a half inch. This curling iron is so lightweight and I use this curling iron for all my curling, like it's so beginner friendly it's so lightweight it gets hot and just makes your curls really bouncy it still give it like a professional it's a real professional curl iron and it, it gives you what you need it gets the job done so i would definitely recommend this curl iron you can get it from sally's you get it from beauty supply store you get it from amazon baby list one and a half you also want to make sure you hold the curl do not try your best not to drop the curl although it may be hot you want to hold the curl and just take your duck clip and just pin that curl. So it's ba basically we're doing like pin curls in a way. You just want to hold the curl and just pin it. And basically this is how you would get soft body curls. This is the preparation and the steps to soft body curls. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you guys again. Same thing. And you like to go, I like to basically curl in sections you don't want to do like track by track because it's gonna give you that hump when you take like three tracks at once and curl in a diagonal kind of way it gives you like a loose curl i can't really explain but it gives you more of a loose body curl versus like a hump than a curl same thing you want to curl with your curling iron going down and just twist the hair throughout the curling iron and make sure the hair is getting all the heat. All the heat, guys. Hold it about like 
three, three seconds, four seconds, and let the curl drop, but let it drop in your hand. Don't let it drop where it's drop. like don't drop it. Try to still hold the curl in the same position so it will be easier for you to pin the curl in. If it's too hot, use your comb and you can hold it up just so, to cool it down a little bit, but try your best not to just drop the curl. And I use my duck clip, and I'm gonna take my duck clip and just pin that duck clip right inside that groove between that little circle. You're gonna see a little circle. You just wanna take your duck clip and just pin that curl. So it's basically we're doing pin curls. So once we pin it, and we're gonna just continue doing the same thing throughout the whole left side. So just remember guys, on the right side, you wanna curl with the curling iron facing upwards. And on the left side, you wanna curl with the curling iron facing in a downward position. This is gonna be an easy way for you to remember how to use the curling iron. Remember right side, curling iron is up left side curling iron is down and it's gonna give you those curls that just go backwards it's gonna give you those body curls that we're looking for them soft nice body curls so just remember that guys that's that's a very helpful beginner friendly tip so the same thing like i said i'm showing you guys how i here is the diagonal you see how i part going diagonal versus straight across if you part going straight across, it's just gonna give you those, like I said, those hump curls. And we want curls that fall and give us real nice body flowy curls on the ends. Those are the type of curls that I like, you know? So like I said, you go in with your flat iron and just straighten those, those roots. A lot of people make mistakes because they just go in and just curl. You want to straighten out those roots just a little bit so the roots can be kind of straight. If you just go in and straight, then you're going to have like a crunchy kind of curl. You know what I'm saying? So just straighten out the roots. Do not straighten all the way down because, like I said, if you straighten your hair almost all the way down, you're not going to have, it's going to be hard for you to curl. The curl's not going to stay. So just straighten out the roots alone just a little bit. And then you're going to go in with your curling iron and recurl going down in a downward position. And just twist that hair around the curling iron, hold it, and just twist it. Make sure that hair is getting all the heat, passing through the curling iron, and just keep on twisting it and just hold it for like three seconds, four seconds. Once you hold it and you feel like it got another enough heat, you let it drop in your hand. It may be hot, but hold it down. <laughs> let it drop, and then we pin that curl. And basically, this is how I get my soft body curls, guys. Um, it's not once you keep on practicing and keep on doing it over and over it's gonna come like nothing i promise you it probably looks a little like uh difficult but you just gotta fill out the curling iron you gotta fill out the curling iron you gotta play around with the curling iron maneuver the curling iron you know what i'm saying so the same thing go for both sides like i said the right side you curl going up and the left side you curl going down and they're gonna give you, I promise you, once you keep on doing it, your curls is gonna come out fire. It's gonna come out bomb. Just keep on practicing. You're not gonna get everything on your first try, or you may get on your first try about how good this video is. I hope y'all guys are learning. I hope you are getting my tips, and I hope you can follow through with this video. And like I said, I'll hold it down. And then I let it drop in my hand and I'm going to pin that curl up. And that's the same thing I'm going to do for the rest of my head all the way to the top. Make sure you part in diagonals and just follow the same procedure, the same steps, the same routine I have been doing. And you're going to get those flawless body curls and soft curls that we are anticipating to get so i basically went ahead and finished the entire head and just completed the rest of the curls at the top 
and your pin girls should look something like this i'm then gonna go in with my sebastian spray shaper plus and i use that to set my curls you can spray as you curl or when you complete the entire pin curl you can spray holding spray it's a very light holding spray it's not too heavy and basically this is how my pin curls are looking and by the end of the video this is how your pin curls should be looking too Hey guys, so now I'm just about to pop my wig on. I already, like I told you in the beginning, I already customized it, did my little baby hairs and all that, all that. So, I'm about to pop it on right now. My curls are dropping. And I did my little edge hairs in the front, but we gonna fix that. But like, you see, look at that hairline though. Mm. So I'm about to go in and cut my lace and if y'all know about my previous videos, we cut lace with an eyebrow razor. Eyebrow razor is what we cut the lace with and I'm basically going to move my baby hairs up out the way so I don't cut them. You do not want to cut your baby hairs so make sure you move them out the way and I'm just cutting straight across basically. I'm cutting not straight across but the since it's an eyebrow razor, it's going to cut in the jagged formation or jagged line for me but i'm just cutting my lace off moving my baby hairs out the way so we can pop this wig on and y'all can see this finished look so i know y'all waiting for it i know y'all waiting for it <laughs> i don't think i ever made like a really detailed video on how to cut your lace but if y'all want a very detailed video like only a detailed video on how to cut lace i got y'all y'all know just talk to me in the comments um this was a long overdue video on how I do soft body curls. So I told y'all, y'all asked and I delivered. Although it was a long time, I delivered. So we about to pop this wig on right now, guys. Yes. Look at them curls. Yes. So basically, these are how the curls is looking. As you can see, it's really popping. Like, it's tight. And we're going to, of course, we're going to brush these out. But when you pin your curls up, it gives her a longer hold. It lasts longer, so I definitely recommend pinning your curls up. And look at that lace. Like, ooh, it's giving me scalp. And it's not even glued down. Y'all ready for the comb out? Y'all ready for the comb out? So I like to go in with a big tooth comb. You can use a big tooth comb, or you can use a, a paddle brush, like a wig brush, or you can use your hands. And I basically like to comb out my curls, guys. Like, you don't want to use a small brush. You don't want to use a fine tea comb. You don't want to use a rag tea comb. You want to use, like, a big comb because it's going to give you the body. It's going to curl out, comb out really, really nice. So, this is really how I do my full really light curls. Like, I really don't do So I'm just cutting a small little layer, just something real, real small. And basically, this is how I get my soft body curls. It's very light, it's very flowy. A little layer in the bang area, nothing too crazy. And this is really it. That's basically how I get my soft body curls, guys. How what y'all think? <laughs> Talk to me, what y'all think? So if you enjoyed this tutorial and thought it was helpful and you think you could slay your soft body curls, just drop your comments, talk to me in the comments, thumbs your girl up, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.